What is going on, everybody? We are back with some more Marvel Snap, and we've got a new event coming to the game. It is the Winterverse. It's, um, I mean, it's not going to be like a huge action-packed event, but it's a really awesome event for the holidays uh, from the developers. So I wanted to cover everything that's going to be coming to the game. First things first, we're going to have a login calendar. I know people aren't a fan of login calendars as a whole because they kind of make playing the game a chore, but I think limited time calendars like this are pretty good for events. So basically, if you log in every day between today and January 2nd, you will get uh, different rewards. Now, I've done some of the math for you guys. It adds up to 1,000 credits and 500 gold and 90 boosters. So the 500 gold is already pretty solid. That's almost a variant on its own that you can buy, uh, the non-premium ones, but still. 1,000 credits is pretty awesome. The Nick Fury variant, I think is a be there's a better view down below, but it's actually a signature variant. So it's the regular Nick Fury card with Samuel L. Jackson's signature on it, which that's nifty. And then you get a Black Panther avatar, which, you know, it's cool. Uh, here it is, the Samuel L. Jackson signature variant. That's really cool. And I hope this is the start of something for the game as a whole. Um, showing off or kind of like iconic actors paired with like the, if they do MCU variant cards, would be really cool. Like a Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man would be pretty iconic if they had like an MCU variant that they wanted to push in. Um, obviously you don't want too much of just becoming about actors, but special runs like this were like, MCU wise, Nick Fury and Sam Jackson are just, it's absolutely iconic for the MCU. So I hope they keep doing stuff like this. And maybe even as far as like um, either creators of comics or iconic artists that drew comic runs. I think there's a lot of potential for things like that. Uh, then we have a Winterverse variant rush. Uh, looks like there have been five variants added to the game. I don't see the Abomination, but we've got Rogue, Ebony Maw, Patriot, and Rockslide. I want this Rockslide variant so bad, you have no idea how bad I want this Rockslide variant. I'm going to be pulling the hell out of these boosters, or the collector's reserves to pull this guy. Um, during the 14 days, so during this 14 day event, there's a chance to pull one of these five winter variants from the collector's reserves. I don't know what the chances are, but you can get all of these limited time I'm gonna call them premium variants uh, for quote unquote free just for leveling up your collector's track. Uh, so I'm going to be pushing hard to get all of these. The Ebony Maw one's pretty cool as well. I like all of them. Rock Slide's my top one though. I want this one so bad. And then finally, there is going to be a bundle added to the game. I know that a lot of you are gonna be very upset because just looking at the contents of this bundle, I think it's safe to assume the price tag is gonna be probably a hundred bucks if not more, maybe slightly less, but 100 bucks is kind of where I'm targeting for this bundle, just looking at the contents. Um, I know a lot of people don't like that there's a um, expensive bundles like this coming out, but I think the value's there. Um, and again, we're gonna have a whole discussion about the, uh, the costs of this game at some point in a separate video, but you get the awesome Sunspot variant. This is probably gonna become my main variant. I am buying this bundle as long as it's not like super overpriced uh, but if it's in the $100 range I'll be buying this bundle um, you get the sunspot variant you get the avatar for it you get boosters which is not quite enough to fully split them but close 8,000 credits is awesome 2,000 collectors tokens is fantastic and then you get a title called tacos after this which might become my new main title uh, although I'll probably get roasted for spending all that money, but it's fine. I'll, I'll accept it. Uh, but yeah, so that's the stuff coming to the game for the Winterverse event. This is our first kind of holiday event for the game. And if this is the kind of stuff we can look forward to, I'm, I'm in. The only thing, like if I had to critique this, the only thing that I would add would be um, eventually, if the game has limited time game modes, it'd be nice to have a winter limited time game mode, but obviously we don't have LTMs yet, so you can't ask for one of those. Um, but also I would like to see how we're doing that hero event right now where you have to gain the records. Um, it would have been cool if they finished that one a little bit earlier and started like a winterverse version of that event, um, where all of us were collecting snowballs or something, I don't know. Um, but in the absence of limited time modes, I think starting up a new one of those browser events during this Winterverse event would have been pretty solid. But other than that, I don't really have any complaints. I think this is a really cool event. You get a free variant, a bunch of free resources. 
Um, potentially some really awesome free variants, but this is going to be down to, I guess, luck and how many collector's reserves you pull. So that could feel a little bit bad, but I feel like if you play a decent amount, pull a decent amount, you're going to get at least one of these. I don't know what the rates are, though, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of the event down below in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.